Extreme heat has the rescue mission on high alert. That's right. Staff members check on people living outdoors year-round, but the hot temperatures will have them out in full force. News Channel 9's Farah Jadrin shows us how everyone can pitch in and keep everyone safe. Syracuse temps are climbing to dangerous levels this weekend. For people living on the streets, trying to beat the heat can be deadly. This weekend in particular, um, we are going to be out in full force checking on everybody that we know of and then checking locations where we've seen people in the past as well. Rescue Mission Chief Programs Officer Amber Vanderplug says it doesn't matter if it's a freezing cold day or a hot steamy one. Making sure everyone is safe is their top priority. Our day center will be open for anybody that wants AC if they don't have it at their apartment. As long as they're a single adult, they'd be able to come in and, and have air conditioning. If you see someone in the street struggling in the extreme heat this weekend, you can try handing them a bottle of water. And if you can't stop by, the rescue mission recommends that you dial 211 and they'll help you take it from there. 211 will contact the rescue mission directly or in my father's kitchen and then one of us will be able to go out and check on that individual um, and assess them. Do they need to go to the hospital because they've overheated that much or do they just need to come inside to the day center to cool off for a little bit? Cooling off and keeping everyone in Syracuse safe. Farah Jadrin, News Channel 9. Next to helping people you see struggling in the heat, the rescue mission says donations are welcome to help buy additional fans for clients. We have a link to the donation page at localsyr.com.